Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, let's make some indie, or I should say minimalist, type of bears. So, let's get going. Alright, so I found these uh, two pictures of very similar drawn bears online, and I thought it would be really fun to do. And they're very, very interesting in how to draw them. I thought it would be very helpful to learn in elementary school. So here we go. So over here we have two types of heads you can do. You can either do a round head or we can do kind of like a curved head and it kind of attaches to the body. Um, the one I'm going to do personally is probably going to be uh, this one right here. I think this one appeals to me more rather than the circle one, but it's up to you guys to decide how you want the head. So here I go. So first step, I'm going to make sure my paper is vertical, so up and down, also known as portrait. And I'm going to put this right here. Uh, just so you guys can see it a little bit. Maybe I'll move it over a little more. There we go. All right, so first step I think I should do is probably going to be the eyes and the nose. That way I have a general idea of where the placement is. So I'm going to go do the nose first. Um, you should do this in pencil just in case you mess up. Um, I'm doing it in marker as always, just so it's easier to see on camera. So here we go. So I'm going to do that part of the nose first. I'm going to do kind of a kind of like a bubble on top of the nose. I know this one doesn't have it, but um, let's see what it looks like if I add it. And what that's going to create is a little bit of a shine or a highlight on top of the nose, just like so. All right, so let me just fill that in really nice and quick. And I should have probably used a different thing other than black sharp because I think I bled through a little bit. Make sure you always have something underneath. All right, let me do the eyes next. I think I'm going to put the eyes a little bit higher up. So probably one right here. Nice and large. Create another bubble on the inside. Fill out the rest. There we go. And then the one relatively on the same side, but on the opposite end. So right there, create the bubble and fill out the rest. Alright, so now I have the eyes and a little bit of the nose. I could probably draw the mouth now. Put it down a little bit. I'm going to angle it, so I think for this one, instead of going to do that mouth, I think I might want to do this mouth instead. So I'm just going to curl it up, that much on that side, and then this much on that side. Nice and cute. Alright, so my bear is almost done. I'm just going to create the outside here. So I'm going to do one ear over here. Let's see if it fits. Great, and another ear right here. Mm, right there. I'm going to kind of create a little bit of... Uh, forehead, like so, go down, and the sides of him going to go straight down, so, and again, I don't think I want to do a circle, so go straight down like this, I'm going to create the neck, and then, let's kind of make the shoulders go down like that, alright, I made it bigger than I thought I would, but it's, it is what it is, alright, I'm trying to create the stripes for the uh, Christmas sweater, you can do as many as you want. I think I'm going to create enough room for about that many. And uh, let's see what kind of patterns I can do, that, uh, patterns that I like. I do like the snowflake one, I like the Christmas tree one, I like the candy cane one. Let's add a little bit of both on all of them. So why don't I do a Christmas tree one here? So maybe one with all the tree stumps first. Let's zigzag a decent amount of times, so that way I can like kind of copy it relatively fast. Go. So I think it was three points on each side. So one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Nice and simple. One, two, three. One, two, and there's a third one down there. All right, let me try to space it out a little bit better. Uh, so let me just preemptively uh, make my tree trunks first. There we go. Much better. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, I think I'm all set to make my trees. All right, trees are all done. Um, another pattern I liked was the candy canes. I think I might go this direction to make it look a tad bit different than the one on the printout. I don't want to copy them too exact. All right, so this one's gonna be candy cane color striping. I might color it a little bit different. Um, let's see, I think I wanna do um, 
performance. That'd be kind of neat. So why don't I do half, like quarter, three quarter circles, and then kind of like shape like that. There we go. Actually, not a full circle, and it has a hook on top. And then the hooks will just alternate um, directions. So back and forth, back and forth. Stripes that's gonna look like candy cane and ornaments. Looking good so far. Let's make these ornaments a little more interesting. Let's add a stripe on each one. There we are. Alright, we're looking really good so far. Okay, uh, for the bottom, um, I guess I could do something super easy. Um, let's see, I guess I can kind of just do triangles. Uh, the reason why I'm doing something easy for the bottom is I'm running out of space, and it's going to be very hard to see later on. Alright, that's pretty decent. Alright, um, so the, what I'm going to do now is the hard part, what I think is the hard part. Um, not this part, I'm just going to add the freckles because I forgot. Um, the hard part is figuring out the directions of which way the fur should go based on the lines that they just did. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a pencil, I'm going to draw very, very lightly of parts that don't uh, need the, the, the lines first. So first of all is inside the ear. I'm gonna draw one circle there, one circle here. Another spot is by the nose. This one's already outlined already. Um, you guys can see that, uh, but this one is not. So it's kind of general, uh, same shape, and it's the shape of a pear. So it's gonna go out this way, come back around, and connect back up again. All right, so next step, I think I'm gonna go and do like this around each eye. One right here, and another one right here. And I'll explain what those circles are for in a little bit. That one's a little off, let me try to fix that one. Uh, if I don't fix it now, it's gonna look very odd once I start doing that don't work. So let's fix that now. All right, this one should bend a little bit lower. There we go, much better. All right, and then I can erase these pencil lines later. All right, let me show you guys how I would utilize them. All right, so first of all, I would utilize the ears and the mouth part uh, just by avoiding those areas of any of the lines I'm about to do. Uh, but however, let's start off with the lines inside the eye area. And what I just did is I created circles on the side. And what I can do is try to copy how they did it and just kind of create lines going away from the center of the circle. So all I'm doing is kind of creating small, tiny dashes. You can make the dash big, a small. I'm doing pretty fairly small. Um, and it's going to kind of create a nice effect. And uh, it'll look a lot better uh, once you're done. So I'm going to keep going. This might take me a while. I'll probably not fast forward until later on. Because I want to explain more stuff. All right, and there we go. So you're going to do the exact same thing for the... Um, other eye, I can do that later. Let me show you guys what to do now uh, once you guys are done with that part. Um, so once you're done with that part, now you can kind of like um, uh, do the ears next. So I think the ears will be the next part. So again, don't do anything in the inside, but on the outside, you want to try to go away from that center part of the ear. And it's going to make a nice type of uh, pattern going away from the ear. And I'm going to stop where the head connects and um, it'll make a nice effect. So notice how I'm going away from that center part of the, cir of the, of the circle. Kind of like that. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. But I won't finish it because I want to explain my next direction. So again, do the same thing on, for the eye for this one. Do the exact same thing for the ear for this one. Now for the, let's do the bottom of the face. Uh, the bottom of the face, as you see, they're going, it's going away from the center of the mouth. On this one, it's going straight down. You can do either or. Um, so let's try to go away from that pear shape of the mouth and see what happens going away from the mouth, but not going inside that dash line. So right now it's kind of looking like a goatee, kind of like how I am right now. Um, but um, that's not what I'm going for. What I'm going for is just the direction of the fur and which way the fur should be going. So again, I'm doing the bottom of the chin, and I'm avoiding that pear shape I drew earlier with pencil. And it's kind of creating this nice effect to my drawing. And then once you head towards where the eye is, um, they kind of like went all the way around the nose. So if you want to go all the way around the nose like this, you can. That's what I'm going to do. And then once you head towards the eye, you kind of just have to like, kind of combine it with those lines that you just did. 
Um, and then for this side over here, you can kind of start going outwards towards the outer uh, edge of the face. So if I just keep going this direction and down, kind of like a downwards angle, um, it should look pretty neat. So this next couple parts, you kind of can go any direction you want. Um, I'm just trying to go which what I think would be good. So there you go. Let me do the top of the head. So I think the top of the head is, um, I think I should go a little bit towards the middle. So I'm just going to go down the middle of the forehead, um, randomly spaced out. And then the reason why I divided it up like that is so on this side, the hairs can start going, curving um, this direction or start to angle that direction, just like that. I think that will look really good. I don't think either of those did that, but um, this is going to be my take on it. And then by the eye, you can kind of start curving up uh, gently or gradually that direction. There we go. All right. Okay, so now I can start going the other direction, just like so. And then while you're by the eye, just try to, try to make sure you don't go too far um, angled uh, too soon. Um, so that's really hard about this um, part. If you're going to go off the page, that's fine, or off the skull, uh, or the drawing, that's fine too. Uh, it kind of creates more of a cool effect, actually, now that I'm doing it. Um, so I'm just going to go like that, pull some parts here and there. I should start doing around the rest of the ear over here, just so I have the top portion complete. Once I get to it, just like so. I'll probably add a couple hairs here and there for the ear, both sides. Let me complete the top portion of the head. So, then let me do this last part, which is inside the eye, just like so. And again, you can kind of go over those pencil lines that you did earlier. Uh, because remember, we're going to be erasing those pencil, line, uh, pencil lines, so I can kind of not tell which direction we were guided by. Alright, there we go. My next step is I'm going to erase um, the pencil lines first. So let me start off with the top corner. I'm using a neater eraser instead of the back of the eraser because I don't like the residue from a real eraser. Sometimes you get like all that pink um, eraser dust on your paper. So it's a neater eraser. Neater erasers are very nice. Plus they're nice and flexible. to look really good so far and just add some erase on this end all right my erasing portion is done and i think the contour lines of the fur on the head is perfect in my opinion anyways um i think i'm making this video way too long uh, for what it should be. Um, you guys probably know how to color the bottom part, so um, if I color it uh, on my own, I'll make sure it's the thumbnail of this video. Anyways, that's the end of this video. You guys know the basic tutorials of how to make this, and that's it. See you guys next time. Bye.